Welcome to the Medora Corporation Whiteboard Series, Everything Lake, where we answer commonly asked questions about lakes, reservoirs, and ponds, and how Solar Bee Grid Bee equipment works to improve their overall water quality. Next up, how does Solar Bee Lake Circulation help control cyanobacteria? Let's break down four likely mechanisms. Mechanism number one, help the little guys outcompete. Mixing helps good small-celled green algae, diatoms, and beneficial bacteria remain viable all season long. These organisms tend to get a head start on their competition in the spring, but are subject to being dominated by cyanobacteria later in the season. With consistent epilimnetic circulation giving them a helping hand, they are able to better access nutrients and light all summer long. Good nutrients and good light set the stage for faster reproduction. Faster reproduction helps them outcompete cyanobacteria, but that's not all. These good green algae and bacteria are also the foundation of the lake food chain. Zooplankton eat good green algae and bacteria, fish eat zooplankton, and all nutrients quickly flow up the food chain. Fish are happy, fishermen are happy, and the lake water gets a whole lot better thanks to effective solar bee circulation. Mechanism number two, bigger zooplankton are better zooplankton. Small zooplankton just aren't big enough to add most cyanobacteria to their menu, but with circulation and better movement through the food chain, zooplankton populations may increase significantly, not only in number, but also in size. The bigger the zooplankton, the more likely they are able to feed on cyanobacteria. And the more they feed on cyanobacteria, the more cyanobacteria is kept in check. It's been shown this mechanism is at least part of the answer for cyanobacteria control. Mechanism number three, buoyancy disruption. Cyanobacteria can adjust their buoyancy to move within the water column. This adjustment is pretty slow taking place over hours. This little buoyancy adaptation also means they can purposefully go up near the surface in the daytime to receive sunlight and back down at night to access nutrients. All the while, green algae and bacteria must patiently wait for their meal to pass them by. However, when cyanobacteria are pulled through the solar bee, they are popped up to the surface much faster and moved much farther than they can naturally, and they may get trapped in the surface film of the lake. Once trapped and unprotected by depth, UV radiation from the sun can kill them off. So solar bee circulation could be killing a certain number of cyanobacteria every day, thus preventing summertime cyanobacteria blooms. Mechanism number four, cyanobacteria call in sick. Believe it or not, there are pathogenic viruses and bacteria called cyanophages that target cyanobacteria specifically, and it's estimated about 30% of cyanobacteria are normally killed by these cyanophages. Cyanophages are already in the lake, generally located here and there in certain areas at certain depths just doing their thing. But once circulation starts, the chances of cyanobacteria-cyanophage interaction increases dramatically. More interaction could mean more sickly cyanobacteria. More sickly cyanobacteria leads to less cyanobacteria and all because of consistent solar bee circulation. It is worth mentioning a fifth mechanism based on plain old years and years of observation. Lake circulation works. And solar bee circulation has been one of the most successful strategies for cyanobacteria control since 2002. Solar bee has been proven over and over again in hundreds and hundreds of lakes and reservoirs across the United States, Canada, and the world. Also worthy of note, about 50% of solar bee projects are in all too important source water reservoirs for municipal drinking water plants. One thing is certain, when you effectively circulate the epilimnium of a lake, good things happen to your water quality and bad things happen to cyanobacteria. And however these control mechanisms work together, we know the result is better lake water for everyone to use and enjoy. For more information how Solar Bee Lake Circulators can help make your lake water better, please contact us at 866-437-8076 or through our website www.medorico.com. Thanks for watching.